Cuts wide left, passes over to Free. Knew these uh, jerseys would trip us up at some point. Compton at the blue line. Nathan Free walks into the right circle. Back door, they score! His team leading seventh goal of the season. Hunter Wallace taps in the Nathan Free pass on the power play. It's 1-0, Brooks. The Barons recover it. Fort Mac, breakout. Simone Gall takes it on his off wing, shoots off the right post. A forehand shot that slipped past Hollihan and went off the right post. Now Hunter Wallace from Free, and Compton is the goal. Came on the power play. Sawyer on a two-on-one entering with Free. Sawyer to Free, wrist shot, and a key save from Noah Nelson. DeGraves enters the Fort Max zone. There's 60 seconds left in the period. Still 1-0 Brooks. And the Barons get it back. Trouble here. Pass ahead for Ryan Arnold. And a great back check by Jack Kaczkowski. As he breaks up the pass, that would have been a breakaway for Fort McMurray. Uh. Sawyer carries up the left side. Rodman staying with him. The left point for Josh Weed. Low wrister, and that's a save from Nelson. Traffic in front, rebound, and Josh Weave scores! Keep that puck, first AJHL goal for Josh Weave. Cleans up the rebound, doubles the lead. It's 2-0 Brooks. Which, of course, started last season against Fort McMurray on January 25th. Here's Ringer chasing it down up the left wing. He's going to get to it. Two on one for Fort McMurray. Ringer back to Gruner. Shot save Hollihan. No, it went in and they score. Hollihan made the initial save. I think it trickled through and either was knocked in by Ringer on the side of the net. Either way, Fort Mac has cut the bandit lead to 2 1. The Graves at the right point. Hooker from the blue line over to his left for Bayer. To De Graves. Now to the far side for Logan Sawyer. Net front, Fitzpatrick pivots and shoots. He stopped, but on the rebound, the Bandits score! Third of the weekend for Logan Sawyer. It's a power play goal. It's 3-1 Brooks. Weave with a goal tonight. Weave and Sawyer have a goal. As he passes to Sawyer, he moves around his man over to Free, and Nelson makes a huge save. Without his stick, he dives across. That would have been weave to Sawyer to free of the highlight variety as Sawyer broke some ankles there entering the Fort Mac zone. Byer in front, finds Logan. Sawyer taps it in and scores! What a weekend for Logan Sawyer. His second multi-goal game makes it 4-1 Brooks. Forward Park. On Thursday and Friday, the Bandits quickly move it up the left wing. Ty Mason on his off wing. Got a good shot off that stopped by Noah Nelson. Evan Arnold will leave in the corner for Sundar. DeGraves in front from Ty Mason. Shot save, Nelson rebound for Wallace. Nelson makes another save. That's back-to-back -back scoring chances for Weyburn, Saskatchewan's Ty Mason. Spent two seasons with his hometown Red Wings and one of his best shifts he's been able to put together. The right side, Hunter Wallace knocks it ahead for DeGraves. It's a two on one. DeGraves to Ty Mason looking for his first and Gruner blocked it, I think. The blue line shifts over to his right with Ringer watching. Ringer shoots, Byers shoots. Save Nelson, rebound, Quinn McCall scores. Second of the season for Quinn McCall. Rebound off the shaft of Nelson Stick on the buyer shot. 5-1 Brooks. Breaks up a stretch pass, shoots it back towards goaltender Hollihan behind the bandit net. Lost handle of it, but knocks it away from Simone Gall. Chance in front for Ty Sauer, the former Kodiak. And his shot's blocked by Danilo Korzeletsky. And Huey Hooker grabs it and moves it out. And a big cheer from the crowd. Keith Gruner, their captain, he's got their one goal tonight. Nathan Free, wrister blocked by the Barons. Out to center ice, it comes Sundar. Up the right side for Boucher, moves in and scores. Brett Boucher scores off the rush, cutting the bandit lead to 5-2. Stone Coons knocks it away. DeGraves back to the blue line, holds it in. McCall 
in front for Wallace. He was looking back door for Ty Mason. Ryan Arnold carries into the bandit zone. It's knocked away. Nine minutes to go in the third. Stretched out to Kalen Fitzpatrick. Moves up the left side with it. Diaz with pressure. Trips him up. Fitzpatrick escapes. Shoots and scores. Three game goal streak for Kalen Fitzpatrick. Oh, it's tipped in by Parker Lalonde, my mistake. Either way, it's 6-2 Brooks. That's the second of the season for Lalonde. Sundar takes it away. Brings it up the left side. He's got an open man in front. Evan Arnold denied by Brendan Hollihan. That was a breakaway for Evan Arnold and probably the best save from Hollihan. Of give and go to Nathan Free. Got a shot off. No one else and makes the save. 25 seconds left on this power play. Season series with the Ojo Barons. We're gonna be up there next week, October yeah. 17th in Fort McMurray. And then the two teams don't play again until Jan. Bandits haven't lost in Fort McMurray since November 15th, 2009. Pass in front for Wallace. He'll leave it for Nathan Free. Shoots, scores. His lead leading fifth power play goal. Nathan Free makes it look easy. 7-2, Brooks. To his left for Ethan Beyer on his backhand. Beyer going to the net, kick save. Nelson Lalonde looking to find the rebound and save from Nelson. And afterwards, Lalonde shoving with the four-mac player, passing ahead for DeGraves, who has two assists tonight and a goal taken away. DeGraves holds it at the line. Hunter Wallace going to the net, shoots, and a save from Noah Nelson. Up the right wing, shoots it on net, blocked away by Hollihan. Five seconds to go. The Brooks Bandits skate to a 7-2 win on Thanksgiving Monday, winning their sixth straight game, defeating the Oil Barons by five.